We know pitchers who have great overall arsenals, but how about we dive into some of the best individual pitches in baseball? Today's video is brought to you by FanDuel Canada. Click the link in the bio and bet with them today. Here are the 10 best pitches in Major League Baseball for this upcoming season. We start with the four-seam fastball, nothing but gas. And Felix Batista has the best four-seam fastball in all of baseball. The Orioles closer averaged 99.5 miles an hour on his heater and only gave up 21 hits on 696 fastballs, and six of those being for extra bases. When looking at fastball shape, we should take a look at induced vertical break. IVB removes gravity from the equation and looks at how much a pitch moves up or down from a point of zero. Four seam fastballs all have positive IVB numbers or and an above average induced vertical break number is 18 inches or more. Pitchers capable of reaching 20 inches of IVB are considered to have elite vertical movement on their fastball, and that is from a Baseball America article. Felix was at the top of the list when you look at IVB for pitchers who threw more than 500 four-seam fastballs. Felix Batista is a monster human, and throwing his fastball up gets a ton of swing and miss, being from his release point as well as the induced vertical break on the pitch, looking like the ball is rising instead of going down towards the hitter. This also helps him play off a great splitter. The best four-seam fastball in baseball belongs to Felix Batista. Second, let's look at sinkers, and the best sinker in baseball belongs to Josh Hader, now of the Houston Astros. He led the league in expected batting average against his sinker at 184 and had a whiff rate around 30%. Last year, he had an expected slug of only 264 on his sinker. Looking at the pitch shape from Hader and what makes it so different is that it has more forcing fastball characteristics as he's the only person to throw the sinker with more than 16 inches of induced vertical break for pitchers who threw more than 500 sinkers in 2023. He has really good extension, nearly seven feet of it, and looking at his numbers on pitchers list, he had a 35% chase rate, a 14.2% swing and strike rate, and a 280 Woba against. Josh Hader possesses the best sinker in baseball. On to the next pitch in the cutter, and the best cutter in baseball belongs to Robert Stevenson, now of the Los Angeles Angels. He had a run value per 100 pitches of 3.8, which was the best, and the numbers that he returned were great. He had a 60% whiff percentage on the pitch, a strikeout rate at 51.2%, a batting average against on his cutter of 101 and an expected slug of 240. Cutters are tougher to classify because you have people who throw cut fastballs like Corbin Birds. He'll throw at 95, even more than that. But Stevenson has more of a slider shape on his cutter, throwing at 88, 91. He gets a ton of called strikes and whiffs, and that comes off the back of a great cutter. We move on to the slider, and there is no harder pitch to get a grip on than sliders since there are so many different types of them now. You can have cut sliders or sliders Slutters, bullet sliders, and the newest variation of sliders, movement profile, are sweepers. And you get the sweeper based on how much it moves compared to a traditional slider. But today we are going to have sweepers separate. Josh Hader doesn't get to be on this list twice, so the winner is going to be Ryan Helsley of the Cardinals. Looking at his slider, Helsley had an expected batting average of only 0.8 two against his slider. He throws it around 89 miles an hour and had an average exit velocity against it at 81.5 miles an hour. He had a 52.2% whiff rate and a strikeout rate at 53.3%. Helsley throws more of the bullet slider as he is top 15 in miles per hour on the pitch and doesn't get much vert or horizontal break on it. The next pitch is the changeup, and the best changeup in baseball belongs to Devin Williams of the Brewers. It's unfortunate he's dealing with injuries, but his changeup returns ridiculous numbers. He throws the pitch nearly 60% of the time, and last year had a batting average against on a changeup of .97 with a whiff rate over 40%. And his changeup expertise is rubbing off on his teammates, as Brandon Woodruff had the second best batting average against on changeups in all of baseball. What makes his changeup special is he has the most horizontal movement of any changeup in the league and great velocity separation from his fastball. Devin Williams is known for his great changeup and I believe it is the best in all of baseball. Move on to the curveball. It is crazy that this man still doesn't have a job, but Blake Snell has the best curveball in baseball with a run value per 100 pitches of 3.5. His curveball had a great swing strike rate of 24.2% and an average against it of 0.79. I think the pitch is so good due to tunneling. And that is when two pitches look the same, but do two opposites. So uh, for Blake Snell, 
it would be his fastball and his curveball coming out of the same arm slot, same release point. Because when you look at the metrics on his curveball, the spin or the shape don't really jump off the board at you. So I think where he's able to pitch up with his fastball and he's able to get to the same point with his curveball to bend it over for strikes and swing and misses, uh, Blake Snell has the best curveball in baseball. One of the biggest trends in pitching is the splitter coming back as an elite out pitch. And Felix Batista is being crossed off this list because he is the winner of the four seam fastball category. So the winner of the best splitter in Major League Baseball is Fernando Cruz of the Cincinnati Reds. Cruz had the second highest whiff percentage on splitters, had a batting average against on his splitter of 0.94. What makes his splitter so good is he's really able to limit spin on the pitch as his average RPMs are only 873 on his split. He has a fantastic whiff percentage as he uses as an out pitch and an expected slug on his split of 147. Fernando Cruz, the best splitter in baseball. Move to a different pitch that is tough to classify and we are at the slurve. A slurve is a hybrid of a slider and a curveball. It is a two plane breaking ball with a near equal amount of vertical drop and horizontal sweep. Not too many people in baseball baseball throw a slurve or what baseball savant categorizes as a slurve. There was pretty much uh, Marcus Stroman, Julio Urias, who isn't going to win anything anytime soon, and Jose Barrios. And out of those three, Jose Barrios threw the best slurve in baseball. He had the highest whiff percentage on the pitch at 30.6% and a batting average against on his slurve of 216 as well. Good horizontal and good vertical break on the pitch. We move to the trendy pitch and we are at the sweeper. This was a close race between Jason Adam and Sonny Gray, but Sonny Sonny Gray threw double the amount of sweepers, had a way better strikeout rate, and much better expected stats. Sonny Gray had the highest run value per 100 pitches at 3.2 and a batting average against on his sweeper of 0.097. Sonny Gray had top half of the table horizontal movement on the sweeper, but a ton of vertical movement on it as well. The expected slug on Sonny Gray's sweeper was 0.190. Sonny Gray rode the backs of a sweeper to a top three finish in AL Cy Young voting, and although due to injury, he's not going to start the season healthy with the card. Cardinals, it is one of the best pitches in baseball. Finally, the best pitch in baseball. We only had three people throw this pitch last year, and two of them were position players. Matt Waldron of the Padres throws the best knuckleball in baseball. Waldron threw 181 knuckleballs last season and had a 25% whiff rate, as well as an expected batting average under 215. We hadn't seen this pitch thrown more than 50 times in a season since Mickey Janis did this for the Orioles in 2021, and his results were a lot worse than those of Matt Waldron. He seems to be back in the Padres bullpen this season, so I'm hoping to see a lot more numbers. There it is, the top 10 pitches in all of baseball. Let me know which one you guys think should have been nominated or should have won. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.